Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Rahim Mehta bringing you another video today on 5 tips that every Lightroom editor should know. Now the reason I decided to do these particular 5 tips is that when I was starting out, I did not know these for the longest time. And when I did, I was poof, completely blown away. So I thought, maybe you guys didn't know these as well. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. Tip number one, auto masking and negative masking. So Lightroom doesn't have selection tools like Photoshop does, right? You don't have the quick selection tool, the pen tool, and whenever you're trying to select in Lightroom using that adjustment brush, you're always like, Ugh, I need to be super precise so I don't touch that object or that face or the wall and no matter how much you try, <laughs> you end up doing it. However, Lightroom has a tool for it. So all you have to do is click your adjustment brush, scroll all the way down and click on auto mask. And now when you take your brush and are painting, let's say the sky, Lightroom is trying to understand what is it that you're trying to do and it makes sure that the subject doesn't get selected. Of course, this only works when there's a big difference in contrast, else it will struggle to differentiate the two. And if on the off chance, if you do end up selecting the subject or something, get this, you can do some negative masking. All you have to do is press Alt and you just can paint the mask out. That's crazy, right? I did not know for the longest time you could do this on Lightroom like you do in Photoshop. Tip number two, targeted auto adjustment. So everyone talks about the curve tool, right? The proper S curve to make your photos pop. I have a tutorial on this, by the way, I will leave the link in the description. But let's say you don't have the time or you just don't know how to use it and you wanna get that perfect photo, well, Lightroom has a solution for it as well. And now all you have to do is go to your Lightroom curves panel, click on the targeted option. Now you can move your cursor to a certain part of the image, you can click and drag your mouse up and down to tweak the different midtones, shadows and highlights in a relative matter. And that's about it. Tip number three, autotone. Let's just say you're just starting out. You don't really know how to use Lightroom or how exactly do you get started? Or let's just say that you have a batch of photos to edit. The simple copy paste is not working and your clients are like, I need the photos today. And you're like, what should I do? Well, Lightroom's got your back. So all you have to do is go to your develop panel and click on the auto button. So what Lightroom does, it uses an algorithm based on color science and other technical aspects that gives you an idealistic exposure edit that could dramatically reduce your workflow or help you to understand how to go about it. Tip number four, clipping. So our eyes can be super deceiving, right? Sometimes when you're looking at a photo on Lightroom, you can't really tell if there's a small part of the image that's overexposed and you're losing detail or something. Well, there's a tool for it. When you're in your Lightroom workflow, press J on your screen and you'll see these red areas highlighted that basically show parts of the image that are overexposed. Just for illustration purposes, I'm just gonna crank the exposure up so you can really see what I mean. Last but not the least, tip number five, bring focus. Sometimes you just want to add that extra oomph to the photo. There's so much going on and all you want to do is bring in and dial that focus in. So what you can do to achieve that is take the radial adjustment tool, create this path around the subject. You can click the mask to show you what's being selected and then you can just go to the sharpness parameter and reduce it all the way down. There's only so much you can do with it, so you can keep repeating this a couple of times. You can copy paste this exact same adjustment brush to really blur that surrounding. And if you just wanna add that extra bit to it, you can reduce the exposure a tad bit on one of them. And yeah, this is how it look. And that's about it. Those were the five tips that helped me with my workflow. Hopefully they'll do the same for you. Please let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think of this video. If you liked anything I said, please subscribe to my channel, drop me a like, follow me on Instagram, and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.